Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, hello everyone. So today I'm going to create another video. So this is for my English project. So in today's video, I am going to create, uh, show you guys how to create a simple 3D website. Uh, and here we are already in Figma, and we are going to show how to create a very very simple. 3d website so first of all you go to new design file uh, in first of all you open figma of course and then you uh, open the new design file and after that you you are here in a blank ca canvas where you can edit or all, all your stuff and on the left here there will be the layers which are the assets that you put inside to the canvas it will all show up here so you guys don't need uh, to you guys don't need many time to actually uh, search for the for the exact uh, assets so first of all here we are going for the frame so we are going to use uh so you choose this icon right over here wait i'm going to change the webcam okay so choose the icon here the frame icon or the shortcut f and then uh choose for the desktop and we're going to choose here is a normal desktop the one which are 100 1440 pixels times 1024 pixels all right so we are going to work with this and try to make a, a very simple design for our 3d website okay so first of all we're going to choose a color for the background for example I'm going for a dark themed uh, website so I'm going for a darkish blue something like that maybe no oh, that's black okay so something like this <coughs> and then uh, after that I'm going to add a rectangle here or the shortcut is R so you're going to put it at um, we are going to put the rectangle here from this edge to right over here so this will be like the menus page for the contacts, uh, home page, and the logo of the uh, I of the website. This is going to be the main part. Okay. Uh, I'm actually I'm going to change the background color into something a bit more lighter. Something like that, maybe. Wait. Um, yeah maybe something like this and then uh, of course we can change this later so we're going to leave it into the dark blue color and for the for, uh, this rectangle right over here change the fill into black now yes it's a bit contrast but that's fine and then you press 8 or 5 no you press 1 so you press the 1 until it becomes a little bit transparent here so it's so we still can see it but we're uh it's not very see-through or maybe make it to 2 Two percent or thirty percent. Okay, I'm gonna use thirty percent because that's the that that looks good for me. And then is now we are going to pick a name. For example, here we are going to 
to create a name which is so here we are, we are going to make a room so for the name we are just going to name it room designs or room.co so yeah you add the text here and uh, just press anywhere and then write for write room dot co okay and then well we have this already here but because it's small well we are going to make it big by uh, changing the font uh, size from 12 to let's just say 40 maybe yeah 40 is kind of good um yes yeah, somewhere there and change the regular change le regular into bold um i'm gonna make some adjustments here okay so that's for the top and i'm going to also adjust this into here okay um so now we are going to make like the headers the one in the up in the uh in the above where um so something like in, uh, the color something that's for like the menus like about us our team partner and also contact us so here we are going to add uh, that that I just uh, the menus so here we add another text and then we are going to add uh, about us our team our team and then um, partners uh oops and then uh partners and the last is contact us now because well as you guys can see it's too big now we want to make it small and simple well how we do that is we change the boldness of the uh, text into medium and we also change the font size into 20 we also change and we are also going to change the spacing between uh, the the lines here so something like that maybe yes okay do this and I'll put this in the middle right about yep so yeah putting it there uh, and then now we are going to make this a little bit transparent so press number five on your key or maybe seven so you guys press the number seven in your key and it will look like that yeah <clears throat> and now we are going to add another icon which is now we're going, going to add another rectangle so this rectangle is for the sign in uh, icon so you make a small rectangle here just adjust the rectangle and put it inside here uh, just adjust where you want to put the rectangle uh, it's actually up to you but not too close to the edge and not too, too not too close to the edge not too close to the contact us and just uh, be in between uh, these two so not too far and not too uh, close to each other to each other so maybe somewhere like here could be good yes and now um the as you guys can see the 
uh, corners look very very sharp well we're going to change that by uh, changing the corner radius by by until 25 okay after that we are going to add a stroke in the fill so in the uh, uh, the below the fill there is stroke uh, so add that and change the color into white and also delete the fill because we do not need that and change the uh, thickness of the stroke until it's thick but not that thick so it's like so the thickness is perfect I think that's it's not too thick but it's it's just perfect okay and now we are going to add another text here the text will be sign in or sign up uh, I'm sign in and put it around here and change the boldness into semi bold and also change the fonts uh, change the font size into 24 okay and just align it so align it perfectly and there now we are going to add an icon so how to add an icon you go to the resources or yes resources to and then go to the plugins area so here you guys need to search a plugin called Iconify. So I have recently used it before in a previous project. So I have it and now press run. And after a while, it will show up here, Iconify. So now you just need to find uh, an icon named the download icon. Okay, and you use this one and for the color here you can use the colors and i'm going to use white because uh it will match the sign in option and you press import icon and close the tab here you have the download icon oops now put it inside the frame and flip this uh 90 degrees to the to the left until it's facing like this or oh, so if you guys cannot really precisely move it like this you guys can use uh, the rotation in the uh, frame uh, setting so change it to 90 okay and put it here and if you want to scale it into bigger press K and then scale it okay now we are going to do some other adjustments to the to the sign in here <coughs> okay and there you go so here we have the sign in uh, button we have the menus and we have the title but we don't have here is the filling or the ins or what or what's the inside of it so we are going to add an asset here from so here we're going to add an asset but okay uh wait a second i'm going to import it okay so now we already have the uh, 3d image here so we are going to uh, add it inside but because well this is too big i'm going to scale it uh, into and make it a little bit smaller and put it inside of the uh, I'm going to put it inside of the frame. I'll just overlap it like this. 
and where you can find a uh, room design like this well you guys can make it on your uh yours with yours by yourself using blender or using spline uh i might will i will maybe create a some kind of uh, tutorial later about uh, spline maybe so uh just wait for it and subscribe okay so continuing here just put the design by dragging the the layer inside of the desktop okay put it nope still too big now scale it again until it's a little bit smaller like this no um that good wait I'm, I'm gonna scale it again okay so yeah maybe something like this no okay uh, maybe a little bit smaller like that okay so now after we have made this uh, we are going to make the text like so you know that the websites like the tagline such as make your dream room with uh, room.co something like that so here we're going to add another text and we're going to add the uh, headline of the um, website make your dream room using room.co and now adjust it so it doesn't overlap with the design that we've made and also make the text bigger yep something like that but uh, a little bit smaller maybe um so we're gonna use 64 yep or maybe uh yeah we're going to use 70 <clears throat> and you guys can change the the color here of the room.co so by clicking it and then uh selecting it you guys can change the fill so just uh, press fill and then change the the solid into linear and for and change the second color the transparency of the second color to a hundred percent and change the color of the first color into something bright like maybe maybe a little bit of blue or yeah, or cyan and for the second color here we are going to maybe some kind of red or yellow okay so something like this or maybe we're going to use <coughs> right so something like this and Uh, and then we we can also add uh some uh add some some kind of lightning here so for the decoration so you use the pen tool or and for the pen tools um a shortcut it's uh the it's p in your keyboard so pen tool make some like a thunder okay nope that's so bad uh, it's up to you it doesn't need to look pretty all right that's very bad it doesn't need to look pretty uh it's just for a decoration so add the fill and uh just adjust it a little bit more Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
fill and change it to linear and use the same colors i suggest to use the same colors as the one that we used before so that and that okay i so just adjust it a little bit so it looks kind of matching and there you go you have okay so that's that and we are also going to add a little bit of description under so you add another text make the text smaller for example 20 maybe okay and you write uh, for example like this it allows you to create your own personal space or your family okay so and then adjust this here make it a little bit bigger okay and change the bold into semi bold and uh, change the opacity to 50 percent okay so we're already halfway here and then after that we add another button here you guys just copy paste so copy this rectangle so or so uh, press alt at the rectangle wait why is there press alt well, okay that's wrong press alt and it will duplicate And then put it here just align it and add a fill and change both the colors into uh, blue and then add the text here copy the text again press alt and drag it here and then we change uh, into download now uh, just make some adjustments before and copy again the And uh, put this here and change the rotation angle into zero okay, and do a little bit more adjustments and now copy copy this again by pressing alt and delete the fill now you're left with the stroke and into white copy the download and uh, add a text alert at the learn more text okay so that and that so yeah okay so here is what we have came up this so far and now we are going to add so we have a blank space here which uh, looks very very boring and we're going to uh, add some sponsorship from other from other brands so uh, add a text like we work with with people 
from around the world. Okay, now adjust it in the middle. Just put it here. And then now we are just going to go back to uh, the Iconify plugin and uh, add some icons. Okay, so now we put this in the middle here. Now, if we put this in the middle, you guys can directly press Ctrl H, same as this one. I, I mean, alt, alternate H, and then we put this down here and change the opacity into 50. Okay, and now here's our website. Uh, you, and yeah maybe that's all from me we have already made our website today and i think it looks pretty good and if you want to export it you select the whole frame and add export export and then press export desktop one and then it will appear uh, in your download in your downloads so um yeah maybe that's all from me thanks so much for watching uh, the last I say, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.